Good morning. It's time for our morning walk. Come on, bub. <laughs> I started taking walks in the morning with them. A very quick walk. It takes about like five to ten minutes. And we walk around a little circle in our neighborhood just to kind of serve as a break between breakfast. A break between breakfast and the start of our homeschool day. We're trying to shake off the morning like fuzz and get us ready for the day. Okay, let's go. Let's go. It's also a great time for me to return library books because we circle right by the library. Maybe this will cut down on my fines. <laughs> Um, I'm also gonna try my best not to repeat myself because I kind of feel like that's gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to minimize that, but it's hard not to. Um, another thing that we do during our morning walk, and I'm hoping to stay consistent with it, um, I wanna make sure that we're walking no matter what the weather is. So we check the weather and we fill out our weather report. Um, yeah, so that's what we do during our morning walk. I also thought that by making these little diaries, it would help me to kind of paint a more, whoa, look at this spider. Wait a minute, I almost, you guys, I almost ran straight into this spider web. Oh my gosh, look at this. Like I was trying to say, I thought it would be nice to paint like a more authentic picture of what the homeschool day is like. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm excited about it. Um, you guys, that spider almost got me. I tried to zoom in so you could see it, but my camera wasn't really, you know, wasn't really catching it for what it was. And it went up into the corner of the web and balled up. So hopefully he'll still be out there in a little bit um, once we take a break after snack time and I can go and get my big camera so we can get close-ups on it and see if we can identify the spider or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get along with our day. After our morning walk, we get into devotions. So that's Mama. what we're about to do now. Mama! Yes, Savannah. Why can't I teach them? Yes, Savannah. I'll be a good teacher. Okay, we'll see. All right, let's go. So I am currently planning because I did not finish my planning last night and while I do that they are going to be working on their writing and finishing up breakfast. What are the words that we did on here? Okay, so I think I missed two parts of my schedule, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to just kind of move forward so that I can stay on task. Next up, we have our read aloud time. I'm a little bit like turned around because I was supposed to finish up my planning for the week last night for my Sunday planning and I was gonna film it and everything. Wait, stop. <laughs> and I was gonna film it and everything, but then I had a visitor and I'm trying to be more flexible with that because I was super, super like, I don't know, not, um, just thrown off because I needed to get that done, but um, I want to work on having an open door policy and just, you know, just loving on people when they stop by unannounced, <laughs> which I really enjoyed and I don't get to catch up with them too much. So it was nice to have them stop by and talk for a little bit, but I did not get my planning done. So um, because I haven't gotten it done, I'm tempted to feel a little bit thrown off, but I'm not going to be. I'm just going to stick with the program. And next up, we have our read aloud. We are doing a new read aloud. We finished up our last one, which was the Tiger Rising, which I'll talk about that maybe a little bit later about our whole rating system and stuff for books um and we're gonna move on to the borrowers so they are gonna go and grab their blankets and their pillows whatever they want um so that we can get right to read aloud time this is like i think my favorite part of the day is it your favorite part cam he said yes <laughs> so um morning basket, time. morning basket time is his favorite and read aloud time is his favorite so we're getting ready to get that started now Okay, so I'm gonna put you right there and I'm gonna grab my book.
multi-syllable words. And this it. is what's happening to me. Watch. What? <laughs> Wait, is it H E N? <laughs> the handful. Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> No, I don't want it. You can do it with daddy. What? Oh, God. <laughs> so the boys are spelling their words on the chalkboards. Let's see if they got it right. We're spelling multi-syllable words um, and finding the open and closed syllables. We're working on incomprehensible. So we're practicing sounding out the... <laughs> 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 so Kendall has spelled out his word. Let's check it. Incomprehensible. And then Cameron. <laughs> Cameron is working on spelling his word. Incomprehensible. And Excellent. Okay. How was that? But you see how it's helping you to spell out the words. Okay. All right. Hey! Okay, this is the part of the day when we need to be done, but we're not. I think what I'm going to do is let them have a quick break, and then I'm going to let them practice on IXL so that it'll just provide some extra reinforcement for what we are learning. Um, sometimes it's hard because I get a little confused when they're asking certain questions and then you're trying to slow it down and explain and then you confuse yourself and now you've confused them. <laughs> but I'm going to push my way through that, breathe a little, and then we make it to the other side. And then IXL is nice to just kind of like end it off so that they can go ahead and get in some more practice. And I really like IXL because if they get something incorrect, it will explain what was wrong and the rules that they're supposed to follow and sometimes that's really helpful for me because sometimes i just know how to spell things i don't actually know the rule to follow all the time and so when they provide an explanation it really helps me to remember and then to go ahead and help them work their way through that issue so that's what we're doing now this is going to be really long isn't it I'm going to try to cut it down a little bit. <laughs> so I'm working my way through the rest of my coffee. It's cold now. But this guy is out here exploring a little bit. So he found a caterpillar. Let me see. So he's probably a little scared, which is why he's balled up. Or a ton of ants. Hey, leave them alone. They deserve to die. Cameron! <laughs> you ready to come in for dinner? Maybe. Alright, come on! Nine scruffy bears wash in a sprinkling stream. One dries off his fresh I know all these words, man. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. <laughs> 